Hey guys, what's up? welcome to 22 Haitian Baby page. Um, so I decided to make this video because like I told you guys, um, when you guys saw my video last week, I told you that I had a toothache. So, um, and I was talking to you guys while I was doing my hair. It's 3 o'clock in the morning, so I decided to just make another video showing you guys how the hair came out, okay? So, so far I have eight and a half packs. And I say a half only because I used a little bit of these highlights to put in my head. So, I'm going to turn around so you guys can see my hair. I split it like that. Like that, you know, like a little thing right here. So, yeah. No spacing. No spacing or nothing. So that's one side. Here's all the hair. 18 inch. So that's how the hair look. Because um, my, my mouth is going to hurt for like a week or two. So I was like, well, let me just... When I was done, it's like 3 o'clock in the morning now. So, two hours basically it took me to do my hair. Like it usually does for this. Now this thing right here. Put that black back down. And um, I'm just showing you guys the cool part about me putting these highlights. First of all, it's easier for me to style because I could find them, um, you know, the strands that I need a lot faster. And see, when I do a little bun, you're going to see the colors. So everything is going to be like solid like that. And then you see the colors right there. And then I just pin it like that, you know. Um, the only thing I regret is the fact that... Um, I guess I could kind of try to force it and see what happens. You know, like go like that and do like... You know, the little um, cat ears, you know. I could force it and do cat ears. That's the problem with you when you don't have a middle part. Um, I could still kind of get more of a swoop going like this. You know, um, leaving these over here, bringing all the colors over here on the to come to this side and party. Obviously, because it's so thick. I would have to take a hairpin and kind of like pin it down to force it to stay, really, to force it to stay on that side. So kind of twist it a little bit and pin it. To cut, bam, to kind of stay all in one side like that. But I want the colors to pop, bam, like that. And then it still has like, you know, just a little bit of parting like that. I don't really put gel or anything like that on my edges type stuff. I just grease and water, I don't care because these are dreads and I want them to have that rugged look on it. Uh, so this go gets to my bust. It could go under my bust once I turn them into goddesses because it's 18 inch. So if you're trying to get more, um, which is what I did with my other ones, if you try to get more um, length, the this is the Bumba Dreadlocks. Now, this color is the T1B slash purple. The darker purple I have here. I believe it's just dark purple. And then the other one, this green one is T1B green. And then the blue one is TB, T1B boo, blue. So basically this is like a blue black. But this green has like 
blue inside of it. See, you can see the dark blue right here. See? Um, I bought some stuff to, you know, um, the things to, like, decorate it with and stuff like that. But I don't have it with me right now. So I'm not going to, like, you know, use it. And also I have, um, if I go find it, I think this is it. I have a Rasta colored one, but I would have to, like, move myself and all this stuff. So, um, you can get this at your local beauty supply store. I don't know if they sell them at a beautiful beauty supply store online, you know, like Sam's Beauty and stuff like that. I'm not sure. But, um, one of my co-workers, when I used to work at Forever 21, she had, um, braids on, and she had this on there, and I, I always, I always wear head, hair nets, not all the time, but frequently I wear, not all the time, but, like, once in a blue moon, especially when I have, like, crochet, or, like, you know, like, black texture type hair, then I usually go like this for my days that I don't want to do anything. I put it all in the hair and I see all of it fit. But I'm going to use my Rasta one though, because the black one is not like, it's like too plain and it camouflages a little bit too bit, too much. I kind of want to make a statement with mine. So I really like this. I did put like a lot though, like and bring it all in the front so you can see. See? I did put a lot though. Like, I really did. But I'm planning on keeping this in my head for a minute anyway. So, I did put seven rows. I connected the two as much as I could. Because I didn't want to go over. But... I'll be all right. Um, once these settle in, they're not tight, but once they settle in, then um, then they'll feel like normal to me. I haven't had crochet in a minute, but um, I'm noticing that um, crochet locks, the flux locks, are kind of coming back. I'm noticing more people are doing them and wearing them. So, yeah, this one just... Oh, I did that to this. So if you're trying to turn them into goddess locks, let me show you guys real quick before I end this video. Am I just going for the same one? How about this side? Okay. So it has a really good coil. That's the Bubba Drub locks from uh, Bobby Boss. This hair came out a long time ago. You could pretty much find this hair online. I mean, on sale now. It was like $5.99 at the particular blue beauty supply store that I go to. Um, there's another one that I go to that is $3.99. So, yeah. But because I wanted purple, I wanted like a reddish type tone. But purple just like jumped at me. So I was like, let me, let me do purple. And I really miss, um, crochet so what you do is you separate it and you do a quick braid but you don't braid it all the way you let a little bit of it because you know like I said it twirls by itself so you let it go like that and then that's how it looks like goddess locks I did this before with my other dreads the wavy ones I'll put the video on link I will link the video down below so you guys can see for yourself what I'm talking about. So you guys can see the dreads, how it looked, the flux lock, how, how it looked after I um, did it. But I'm happy that I installed this because the first time it came out, I did buy it, but um, I don't know. I just, well, I wanted it longer. And um, so I bought I installed a little bit of it and then I took it off. And then I um, got the wavy locks from Free Stress, I believe. And when I did that, I um, it was 20 inches, I believe. And to get extra, I kept seeing other people um, 
videos talking about um, how to change, you know, um, it to um, goddess locks. But everything was like boiling water and all that stuff. I was like, ugh, I don't have time to do that. And then um, one of my wavy locks, it started to unravel. And obviously these are coils and I couldn't curl them back. You know, even when I tried to twirl it with my fingers, it just wouldn't curl back. So I was like, oh, forget it. I'll just braid it. And a couple of them was doing that. So I braided like three of them. And then I was like, hmm. And then I got up and went to the mirror to check. You know how you do your hair and you stop for a second just to go check to make sure that you're where you're at. And when I did that, I was like, yo, these kind of look like, um, um, see, these kind of look like goddess locks. And that's what I was like, yeah. And then the good thing is it gives you more length when you do that without unraveling the whole dread. So when that happened, I was like, good for me. But all I'm going to do with my edges is just put grease and water because, um, after a week, my dreads are going to it's not gonna the the bobby ball stress really don't get old but it's gonna blend better if that makes sense so anyway comment subscribe i thank you for watching my video um wish me good luck um so the video that you guys saw um technically when i upload this video i would be on my second week of recovery after i take pull out my wisdom tooth and then after that i will make a two-week review on this Bobby Boss, I mean, this Bumba Dread from Bobby Boss, right? Yeah, from Bobby Boss. Um, review, you guys probably don't want another review on this hair or whatever, but I'll think of something. If I don't make a review, I'll, I'll make a haul or something like that, I don't know. But anyway, thank you, comment, subscribe, and thank you guys. Bye. Pray for me because I'm going to need it with this wisdom tooth.